Hello, we Chandrasekhar, Nagaraju and Raghuvar, finally a students of Civil Engineering Department, Gokaraj Rangaraju Institute of Engineering and Technology. We have done our project on effect of size of aggregate on self-compacting concrete. Our project is aimed at studying the effect of size of coarse aggregate on self-compacting concrete. Self-compacting concrete is a new kind of high-performance concrete with excellent deformability and segregation resistance. It can flow through and fill the gaps of reinforcement and corners of molds without any need for vibration and compaction during the placing process. The guiding principle behind self-compaction is that the sedimentation velocity of a particle is inversely proportional to the viscosity of the floating medium in which the particle exists. The history of self-compacting concrete dates back to 1980s when Okamura and Ozawa of Japan developed this concrete to face the problem of concreting thin reinforced sections. In this type of concrete, there is no need for mechanical vibrators. Smooth faced sections can be easily obtained. Manpower is reduced compared to normal concrete. These are the advantages of this type of concrete. Coming to disadvantages, this type of concrete involves more economy compared to normal concrete. There is no specific Indian standards codal provision for mixed design of self-compacting concrete. In India, lack of acquaintance with this type of concrete, more conventional methods are still being adopted. Our project details. Our project studies the effect of size of coarse aggregate on strength of self-compacting concrete. First, we collect the raw materials that is cement, aggregates and other admixtures and basic tests on materials and mixed design is being done. Then we cast molds, specimens, and then we do the tests on like compressive, split tensile, flexures, test results, study on the effect of size of aggregate on strength of self-compacting concrete of M70 grade. The materials used in this project. Cement. Ultratech cement, ordinary Portland cement of 53 grade collected from local store. Coarse aggregate, 20 mm. 12.5 mm and 10 mm collected from local quarry Kisara. River sand collected from Vijayawada. Here we can see the picture of sand and coarse aggregate. Microsilica we have collected it from Mumbai fly ash from KTPS. Super plasticizer. The super plasticizer used in our project is Glenium collected from Ultratech ready mix concrete plant Bajpalli Hyderabad. This is made manufactured by BASF Chemical Company. Viscosity modifying agent collected from the same source and the chemical name is Glenium Stream 2. These are these various tests performed on cement and fan aggregate. This is the picture when specific gravity of cement is being conducted. This is the specific gravity part. These are the different tests conducted on coarse aggregate. The physical properties of cement after examining our results we have tabulated in this one. These are the physical properties of coarse and fine aggregate. Mix design. In this project the mix design adopted is based on Nansu's mix design procedure. In this procedure more importance is given to the term packing factor. Packing factor is the ratio of mass of aggregate of tightly packed state in self-compacting concrete to that of loose deep packed state. Flowchart of SCC mix design. The total work included in mix design is shown in the form of flowchart. First, data. We collect the data based on the basic tests conducted on the materials. Bulk density of coarse aggregate and fine aggregate. Specific gravity of coarse, fine aggregates and cement. Calculation of coarse and fine aggregate contents, calculation of cement content, calculation of mixing water content, these are done step by step in this project. Calculation of fly ash content, calculation of super plasticizer content, these are the various steps. After conducting a number of trials, we have arrived at these quantities and proportions of these materials used. This was one of the mix trail when we were conducting. This is the pan electrical pan mixer which we have used. 
this is a picture of one of the mix the usual tests conducted on self compacting concrete are tabulated the method and their property for which they are done this is the flow table test conducted this is the fuel funnel apparatus this is l box apparatus this is u box the acceptance criteria typical range of values of self compacting concrete for different tests these were the picture when we were casting cubes these are the casted cubes beams these are molds of cylindrical the compressive strength results of various sizes of aggregate after 3 days 7 days and 28 days of curing shown in the form of a bar diagram the green one indicates 20 mm aggregate the light blue 10 mm aggregate and the middle one is 12.5 mm aggregate from this bar di bar diagram we can observe that 10 mm aggregate is top uh, compared to the other two sizes of aggregates this is split split tensile strength results for 3 days 7 days and 28 days of curing and the notations in the bar diagram as as usual and the results are impressive for 10 mm aggregate these are the flexural strength results for 3 days 7 days and 28 days of curing the results are expressed in mp or newton per mm square 10 mm 10 mm aggregate is always leading conclusion based on our studies we conclude that the low size coarse aggregate of 10 mm used in our studies yielded good and appreciable results for self compacting concrete as this is obtained locally we also recommend the same type of aggregate for m70 grade of concrete for higher strengths these are the different references which we made our sincere thanks to professor gv ramnagar phd head of the department civil engineering gokraj rangaraj institute of engineering and technology we are indebted to our guide sri v malikarjun reddy mtech associate professor griet we are thankful to the department of civil engineering griet teaching and non teaching staff all unmentioned names and invisible hands behind our project